All right, ladies, I am so excited to talk to the both of you. You've got to tell me, first of all, what exactly is B-Funk? Um, B-Funk is a combination of two styles of dance that we teach. We teach Bhangra Funk and Bali Funk. Mm -hmm. So Bhangra Funk is a combination of Bhangra with Jazz Funk and Hip Hop elements, mm -hmm. and then Bali Funk, Bollywood, and Jazz Funk and Hip Hop as well. Yeah, um, yeah not, short. yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> for short, B-Funk, yeah. yeah. Not something we planned for, but yeah. just something that kind of accidentally happened. The desire to start this, she had the heart to start this because she just really yeah. wanted to start a Bhangra class because she thought that the techniques that Bhangra had to offer would be really beneficial mm -hmm. to the professional dance scene in the industry because mm -hmm. um, it would give them an edge to set them apart in the industry when they're auditioning and also train their body and muscles mm -hmm. to um, you know react differently to music. I, I do think being females, it was even more exciting because you don't see many females doing Bhangra, you see them doing Gidda. So that was even more exciting because we got a lot of comments that were like, first of all, this isn't traditional Bhangra, but also being females in the industry as well. It, you know, it, we had a lot of people, girls coming up to us and saying, oh, this is so exciting. I didn't even know that it was a possibility for me to do that. The number of views and the following that you've generated in such a short time, it's pretty incredible. What do you think contributes to that for you guys? You know, um, mm -hmm. I think that this, this notion of teaching a class and filming a class is something that wasn't popularly seen in the South, Ag South Asian industry mm -hmm. or the South Asian realm. And so seeing that was, I think, kind of a spectacle to some degree. Um, and also just this idea of being able to pursue dance beyond college or beyond a passion, mm -hmm. beyond a hobby. I just think that that phenomenon was just something probably maybe just exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of people have had that guilty pleasure, but maybe didn't want to admit it or didn't try to fully pursue it. What would you say has been maybe one of your biggest insecurities that you've had to overcome? I would say a big insecurity for me starting out was actually being able to proudly call myself a dancer. Um, that was something that I had a really tough time with and just no. confidently saying that, like if somebody asked me, what do you do for a living? Um, I had not much confidence in saying that I am a dancer and I am doing that full time and I'm a choreographer, so it was scary. I think like for me, I don't look like the typical dancer, you know, and so body image has always been something that's been a struggle for me. And I told her going into this, I said, I'm not ready for it. You know, I didn't know where we were going to go with this. I obviously mm. did not think that things um, would pick up the way that we that we, that we had the blessing mm -hmm. for it to have, you know, for it to have been so far. but. Um, you know, you don't ever meet these people in person, you know, but, mm. but cyberbullying is a real thing yeah. and people aren't very kind and you just gotta, you just gotta know that, you know, whatever you're doing is right for you mm. and you have to look past it, but sometimes it's difficult to jump that hurdle, you know, mm -hmm. but she's just the reason I got through it. <laughs> Aside from teaching classes, the girls are also taking an international tour. And we're very fortunate that India's contributed to a lot of our growth mm -hmm. um, and a lot of our viewership and we have yet to support yeah. and go. So yeah. we're really excited yeah. to finally be going. Um, we're going to be doing two cities. We're going to do Delhi and Bombay. Um, I'm going to keep it short and simple, mm -hmm. but we're hoping it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. we performed with Jil Diljita Aifa, and then we also worked with Arjun Kapoor in the past. Hey guys, check out Shivani and Chaya's awesome choreography on my song, Hava Hava from Mubarak. They're absolutely outstanding, and I can't wait for them to do more songs for me. Thank you, Shivani. Hey. Really want to go in giving every all their students there just the B Funk experience that everybody kind of sees online. Ty and I uh, got done last year from August to end of October. 
We went on an 18 city North America tour. It was called the We Funk Tour and we taught 60 workshops in two months. And we are so proud of that. I mean, we taught about five to six routines mm -hmm. during the tour, we went to 18 cities, we went to Canada, we um, ended the tour in New York and we saw a total of 6,000 people, I believe, we taught in person. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wait for an opportunity to be given to you. You truly can create your opportunity, your own opportunity, and it's 10 times harder, and the road is 10 times bumpier than any other road, mm -hmm. and it's the road less traveled, but it is so worth it. Okay, so we're actually doing this. I mean, if I've watched your videos online, but I'm here with the girls right now. <laughs> all right, what are we learning today? Okay, so we are going to do some Bali Funk. Okay. Right? And this move we taught in Ringa Ringa, which we actually taught in this studio at Basement of NoHo. Look at that. I know, and I was Look, wearing- See, this is all meant to be. I was all wearing a shirt too. Oh, 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 this is definitely meant so to be. So everything's coming full circle, all right? all right? So, all right, so this stuff is really, really fun. We always have fun teaching this one in the workshops, all right? So all we're gonna do is we're gonna clap from front to go one, two, three, and then up four, and I'm gonna slap the inner thigh, and I'm gonna go five, six, seven, and eight. How's that feel? It feels good. Six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, lean, eight. All right, do it again. Yeah. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more time. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a little faster. Go one, Work out, two, ladies. three, four, five, six, seven. Last time, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This has been so much fun. I can't wait to come out and experience one of your classes. And again, if you're looking for classes, workshops, or even just to see some great videos, follow these gals, Be Funk. They have really, truly, truly, I think, changed the face of dance.